Today we're going to talk about rest. Um, it's something that I don't like to do, and it's something that's extremely important uh, for anything that you're trying to grow or achieve more in. You need to take rests. Uh, it's kind of one of those things that you think it's against the flow, right? It's like I'm doing nothing. Why the hell am I doing nothing? Can I figure out some way to, to inject knowledge in my mind while you sleep? Which you kind of can. They say there's theories in there about, you know, listening to the books at night and retaining some of it or lis listening to, uh, trying to learn a language at night and be able to retain it in the morning. You know, if that works for you, awesome, but for most people, it just doesn't. And the reality is, uh, most individuals need just to kind of calm down, relax, take some rest, take a break, regardless of what it is. I played this, uh, I added this game as my uh, the game for this video simply because it was unranked. Which means people can go in and out. It's it's not competitive, so there's no like real. Uh, there is like a ranking to it, but it's not near as uh, stringent as maybe a competitive version of the same match. But it, as we watch, it's a really it's actually kind of a longer video because it took us so long to finish the game, and I did a lot of uh, things that I thought were better this round. You know, I just thought, okay, I'm I'm getting back into it. Took a break yesterday. Didn't do a video. You know, didn't even play any video games, kind of just, you know, hung out, relaxed, slept a bit. You know, all those good things. Went out, um, talked with some uh, co-workers yesterday after work. You know, nothing too intense. It's a, a little more relaxed day. And it kind of goes back to the point of, you know, w whether it's actual rest, like getting in your bed and sleeping, or it's literally just, you know, taking a break from something for a day. You know, maybe just... You know, removing electronics from the from the mind. Maybe, you know, if you're if you're trying to learn an instrument or you're trying to learn a language, you know, it's good to do it every day. Be consistent, but every once in a while, it's a, it's also good to just relax because it'll. There's a point of diminishing returns, and what that is is, uh, at some point, the value of the next productive unit. So say every hour is a unit. So say you, you practice for four hours on the violin or you practice four hours playing soccer. At some point you'll get tired to the point that you'll no longer be getting better. You'll start doing, uh, you'll start having bad habits being formed because you ha don't have the energy to do the proper, um, you know, do properly. I guess that's an easy enough way to say it. And from there you then have to struggle with the fact of, okay, now I'm uh, I'm going to the point now where if I keep doing this, I'm not going to get better. I'm actually going to get slow, slowly worse. Or you might get a little better still, but it, it's not near as much effort or worth it as had it was at the first couple hours. So the proper way to really uh, get better at something is to learn your optimal time of doing it. So. You know, for me, when I was trying to learn the viola, it was an hour. And then my hands started getting tired, my arms started getting tired, my neck. You know, over time, it's become a little easier. But, the, you know, the truth is it's... you got to make sure that you have the energy to properly have the form, to pay attention to what you're actually doing. So if you do make mistakes, you can react to them and fix them. Now... We keep going in this video. Right now, it's seven to zero. A few people have left. They're just kind of done. You know, it's like okay, it's pretty weird. Thankfully, a guy shows up and and starts playing pretty well. But you know, just my patience got better. I just had a better strategy going through the ball. My uh, mechanics in this game were a little better than they usually are. You know, that was like one of my bad times right there for sure, where I just didn't know he's gonna hit it so hard off the wall. Did he hit the wall? Look at him. He just he just nicked it with his car and put it in. It was a great shot. So I can't be too mad at that one. But more of the story is the, the break definitely helped. Like right there where I was patient enough to wait for him to try to make a, a move on me. I just, you know, skirted it to the side and stopped it. And then here all I needed to do was nick it forward just to get it off our side of the court. Now getting back to rest and why it's just so relevant. It's, you know... If you look at guys that wake up at 3, 4, 5 a.m., uh, the reality is they're going to bed at you know, 8, 9, 10. Some nights they'll, they'll hammer it out and they'll stay up till you know 2 a.m. and get back up and do it again at, at 4. But most of the time they've learned a strategy. They've learned the exact amount of sleep they need to stay composed and 
um, positive performing throughout the day, even to the point that some of these people decided, okay, well, uh, it actually cost me energy to choose my shirts. You know, Zuckerberg doesn't actually choose his clothing. It's literally that same hoodie, that same shirt, the same pants every day because he doesn't want to have to take the energy to make that decision. So even strategies like that, it's weird what people will go to in order to rest. And it's, I think it's the part of that can't be stressed enough. There's so much research. You should be getting 79 hours. To me, that's a little much. You know, if you look at um, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he talks about how, you know, six hours is probably the time. If you have, if you take uh, sleep for six hours, you're sleeping 25% of the time. That's a pretty decent amount of change to be doing nothing, especially the fact that every single minute you spend doing something, that's that's no longer yours. You no longer have that time. So it's it's very interesting thinking about the concept of rest, especially when the value of a minute is so enormous. In fact, it's the most. There's nothing to compare. There's literally nothing to compare. If I offered you maybe a hundred million dollars but you only got to live for two more years you probably wouldn't take it I mean some people might because they really don't care anyways and they just want to you know live out those last two years and just uh, just destroy it you know ball it up but most people you know life is valuable life people are scared of it they're scared of death they're scared of life itself and it's it, it all goes back to the fact that you know without caring for your body without making sure the proper food in you, you get the, you're healthy, you work out, you get the proper rest. If you don't do that, just every, your days can be horrible. If you ever think about a day that you've ever been just completely exhausted and it was 9 a.m., you woke up two hours ago, took a shower, and for some reason you're already, you know, that's it. You're like already done for the day. Well, you got to think about it. What did you do that night? Is there a lot of stress in your life? How did you actually sleep? It's not about just getting to bed at a certain time. It's also about making sure you have a positive place to sleep that means you know no electronics try to avoid it for the last hour of the night something that I actually don't do some nights I'm either working or I'm uh, enjoying a, a YouTube video or doing something uh, not good uh, actually it's something that I'm actually a little distraught about day to day that I still do that because there's just too much to do to, to, to have that to waste that potential hour of rest that I'm already trying to get and then to top it off, if you have sound and light during when you're sleeping, it's it's going to impact your you know your REM cycle is going to impact how you're actually you know resting. It's I mean I guess it's almost like a broken record player here for coming on eight minutes. It's it, you want to get truly great. At every person I've ever asked, I've done a lot of interviews with people that have done well in life, you know, from the middle class and up. And uh, simple reality said, okay, whether I was starting a business or trying to uh, better myself in my career you know the times I did the worst is one of the times I just thought I could just keep doing it um, literally talked to an individual where he was a he owned a commercial cleaning company and he cleaned um, okay like he cleaned a uh, uh, place where they sell cars I can't believe it's you know a car lot and I couldn't remember that until just now and he tried to stay awake for three days <laughs> he was hallucinating by day three and he got nothing done he went the rest for 14 hours that's how it goes. So take the note, get some rests, continue to commit to your to your craft, time everything right, work hard, solve the things. Appreciate it, guys.